Hello friends and welcome to Coimbra. If you love Portugal and want to visit not the most real tourist destination, not overloaded with tourists, but with rich history, Coimbra is definitely your choice. We'll start our journey with exploring one of the oldest university in country, University of Coimbra. The university is one of the oldest operating in the world and the oldest in Portugal. It played very important role in the development of higher education in the Portuguese-speaking world. In 2013, UNESCO declared the university a World Heritage Site, noting its architecture, unique culture, tradition and historical role. I thought like in every museum you can buy tickets to the university in the university, but no, uh, the ticket office for the university located in the different museum, the science museum, you should walk about seven minutes to the ticket office. You can also buy a ticket online, but I didn't succeed again. So when I was thinking about visiting uh, this university, I was mostly thinking about uh, library, should be a very beautiful place, and the clock tower. But apparently clock tower is closed, it's not possible to climb it. Unfortunately, we're not going to enjoy the beautiful view from the clock tower. But I bought ticket. And if you want to go to this library, you should buy a ticket for everything. So we are going to see everything we can. For this library, you buy a ticket for the time slot, so I should be there in 20 minutes. Joanina Library, part of the University of Coimbra, is considered one of the most beautiful libraries in the world. So you are not allowed to take pictures and do any videos in your library, but apparently for now I am banned from this library forever because I did some. The image of this library often finds a place in the popular culture. For example, this library was the inspiration of the scenery Hogwarts University Library in the Harry Potter films. Her photographs were also used to create the library in 2017 Beauty and the Beast movie. Since our ticket is all included one, after visiting the library I continued to the rest of the university. Of course you can't go anywhere you want, because students are studying. The area for tourists is quite restricted, but if you go to the royal palace, you can also enjoy a student's dining room. It's quite cheap and has lots of healthy options. Also, you will be very excited about students' uniform. They wear robes that also inspired Joan Rowling to create a uniform for Hogwarts students. Another spectacular building, St. Michael's Chapel. The original chapel probably dates from 11th century and has the majestic historic organ dating from 1733. The chemistry laboratory is the most important Portuguese neoclassical building. Currently, it contains some of the science museum collection and lots of interactive physics experiments. After visiting university, you can take a rest in botanical garden. The entrance is free. The garden was created in 18th century. It combines history, science and nature and also contains unique botanical collections. famous not only with its university but also with tons of ancient beautiful architecture and special churches so let's go and look for them
you can endlessly wander through the narrow streets of the old city of Coimbra in search of churches, monuments, historical buildings and arches. You should get ready that this walk can be a physical test for you, because the old city is located on the hill and has countless amount of steps. The most beautiful view of the city opens from the other side of the Mondego river. From the automobile bridge, be sure to take a walk in the direction of the glass Pedro Ines footbridge, another very beautiful viewpoint of the city. This is it. I hope you enjoyed our day in Coimbra. I really tried to show the most interesting places here. And I'll see you in the next Portuguese city.